bridge now to go beneath. This is the Waterloo Road Bridge. And they've got their finishing touch to it. They faced it off in a Portland stone. And that is a very expensive cleaning stone. So when it rains here in London, not often, it actually cleans the face of it. If you have a look underneath the bridge now, where the rain doesn't penetrate, you'll see how dirty you will actually get. To your right hand side now, on the right, there's two concrete buildings over there, trees. This all goes together to make Kent House. This is the headquarters and film studios of London Weekend Television. Well, that used to be an old cold meat warehouse many years ago. And in those days, it was illegal to advertise on the River Thames. So what they cleverly done, they put their logo in as windows. If you look at the tower there, you can see the OXO sign, defeating a Lord of Dane. It's actually been sold off now though, this uh, shopping mall at the bottom there, private apartments in the middle, and those two top canopies are a Harvey Nichols restaurant. Saturday but closed two days later on a Monday because when people walked on it it wibble wobble. <laughs> See the white black hill, a bit of flat roof there. Well this is the replica of the Globe Theatre. An American film producer, Sam Bonamaker, actually started the project, but unfortunately he died before it was completed. The Southern Road Bridge is the next one we passed beneath, the least used road bridge on the River Thames, because when they was building this bridge, what they forgot to do the main road closure. First to get onto that bridge, you do have to go down the side street. So if you do see anyone up there today, ladies and gentlemen, please keep away. They are most probably lost. This is the Cannon Street Railway Bridge we're going under now. Now some bridges on the river tents, ladies and gentlemen, are interesting. This one this is the replica of the Golden Point. This is Sir Francis Drake's ship. Now that actual ship has sailed around the world on a few occasions. A lot of voyages that he done many, many years ago. But she's in there now as a museum. And not a lot of people know that William Shakespeare had a younger brother. Well he did, he's dead and he's now. Famous uh, British Kittle singer man, known of which is falling down, but it's one of the things that he's actually been. Permanent fixture on your right hand side is the HMS Belfast, the Southampton class cruiser. She weighs approximately 11,500 tons. She is owned by the Imperial War Museum nowadays. It's actually uh, open to the public. You can go on it, it will take you a day though. It's to go from the Captain's Bridge right down to the engine rooms. Her main armaments are those 12 6 inch guns. And that was six at the front, and six at the back here. And they are capable of firing a shell weighing 100 weight, 14 miles. She was one of the first ships to have radar in her day. She last to fire the guns in anger in the Korea War. Well, this is going to be the new headquarters for the Mayor of London. This is Kent Livingston's new offices. Well, ladies and gentlemen, directly in front of us is the famous Tower Bridge. And then on our left-hand side is the Tower of London. 